welcome back to the next tutorial where we'll be working on naming conventions as well as trying to orient the joints so before starting I'll just try the character sorry I'll hide the character shell <coughs> polygons I can select this joint unparent it G so that I can delete both the sub joints here I'll have only this one now this one I'll just unparent it G so everything is unparented now we'll try to name it if you come back here to Windows outliner you'll have these joints so this is a joint if you hold shift and click on this plus it will open all this joints okay now we'll start this as double click here this is root this one is hips spine I'll put spine underscore a you can put spine one two three uh, generally I prefer spine a so here what I'll, do, I'll just try to add something called underscore J and T that is called joint Can here I remove this one okay I'll put spine a underscore joint okay, I'll put like this this is okay double click copy this one this is B C A, paste it, D, E, and the final one is F. Up to here it's fine. I'll uh, I'll switch on the character show polygons. it's here so this is we can say it's a cage where the upper ribs are there or else you can call this a, uh, it's not even neck this is a neck so I'll call this as I'll name it as spine no I'll just change it to cage okay joint and now this one is neck right now comes this one is head joint JNT and this one is face JNT this one is uh, top JNT this is jaw JNT so it's perfect everything is named now minimize it now here this one plus double click here you need to name this as left leg JNT this one is left JNT this is left ankle JNT this one is left ball JNT and finally is top left toe JNT so now the legs is joined everything is now here now here I, I'll not use it I want to expand it I'll prefer double click here this is left 
clavicle you can call clavicle or you can call shoulder joint also no problem but, but right now I call it as clavicle and this is left arm joint this one I'll call it as left elbow JNT this is left wrist JNT I'll call this left hand JNT different programmer uh, studios different production houses they call it with the different names it's whichever the thing you feel you are comfortable with it or else whichever wherever the naming conventions your production houses offers you so right now I got everything now this is the one this is left this is what is this finger this is index this is middle ring pinky and thumb so here what I'll just I'll change it to left index I'll put a okay copy this one is B this one is C and finally this one is D some I don't like using ones twos and all things now this one is rather than index finger i'll change it to middle middle copy once again i'll caps lock it this will be b C and D. This one, rather than using middle finger, I'll. This one is ring. Left. Ring A. Copy. B C D so everything is named here now this will be here I'll just put pinky copy B C and finally this is D now comes this is a thumb T H U M B copy B C and final naming D so if you check here everything is perfect now if you want to see you can go to windows outliner or hierarchy this is I have seen it perfectly named this is perfectly named left 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 hmm everything's perfectly named now right now naming is perfect I'll show you how to mirror it then I'll do the orientation process but before that I'll show you how you can mirror it you can just select this one back here parent it now select this one you know left is there just go to animation skeleton mirror joint same thing but here search for left change it to 
mirror so now it's right up like right have thing you got it but right now we are not interested in this thing we'll first orient it and then we'll try to work on mirroring okay once again i'll hide this i'll hide my polygons we'll carry with the next part of this tutorial that is joint orientation first of all main thing we'll need to understand what is joint orientation uh, whenever we create the joints we create the joints using a world axis world orientation axis which is somewhat is good for a lot of things but when we see each individual joint as it's got on local axis so everything should be organized and should follow the same particular axis so rather than explaining you I'll show you some examples on the same skeleton you'll understand it okay first thing you need to select the root joint right click select hierarchy so you'll select all these joints in this hierarchy now come back to skeleton orient joint option box reset leave the default if you toggle on the local axis visibility you can see the local axis if you see here all the axis couple of axes are in one direction couple of objects joints are in the different direction so what will happen let's see well, let's rotate it I'll, I won't rotate in set axis if you see here sorry some joints are rotating in one axis the other joints couple of other joints are rotating in the opposite direction which is a bit wrong everything should flow in the right direction let's see z y axis can you see here now this is the best example these two joints are rotating this axis these joints are rotating but generally everything should go in right direction so we need to orient it in a right direction so how to do it using this or cho orient joint options first thing always the primary axis if you see here there's a primary axis x is the default thing and we leave it to x because we want x to be pointed towards the child joint x is always pointing towards the child joint can you see here? x is perfect here right now we are facing issues with y and z axis it's very simple here just leave the secondary axis to y i want secondary axis world orientation i want to orient the z axis everything z axis perfectly here so i'll just change it to z and apply can you see here everything is set so if i rotate in y axis now do you see the difference now if you didn't see the difference just rewind couple of seconds couple of minutes you will see the variation now if you check here everything is going perfect except the tip points tip points are always are based on world axis or something else but still we'll try to orient it so this one is going all the way top so this thing I need to orient it perfectly so I can click on the component mode click on this option which is like miscellaneous thing if you right click you can see local axis so select this axis what I want is first I want to orient it the y-axis it's orienting in y-axis come back here now x should be pointing towards the child there's no child we'll assume there's a child here now if you come here it's pointing perfectly right now select this one first thing we'll do is orient the x-axis we'll assume the child is will be going somewhere here like this come back here and that's perfect because that axis is here right you got it just 
rewind a little bit. Generally for the spine thing, only one thing which I change is z-axis. The thing is right now if you select, okay, I'll just go back to the object mode. Hierarchy. Or else I'll just select a couple of joints here. Now, x-axis, perfect. Y-axis, perfect. This two axis, it's up to you. It's up to you. Let's take you want y-axis pointing in this axis and z-axis pointing forward. But it's up to you. But generally, you should follow the rules from your production houses. You'll get some, you'll, you, you need to gather some information. Now I, I'll toggle off everything. So just select the root child, sorry, root, select hierarchy, toggle off. Now we'll do it further. Like, select this one, right click, hierarchy, toggle. It's here, simple, I just apply. But right now, this is coming, Z is coming this side. I want to maintain this axis, so I'll just change it to minus N Z axis, apply. Now if I select these two joints and rotate it, okay, it's going perfectly. But I need to tweak a little bit this knee orientation because it's better is get up and lift your leg. What happens is that when you lift your leg, this portion, the lower leg will go inside the body. It won't go outside. It won't go exactly down of your leg. So what I will do is that I'll go to the orientation, select this one, a little bit turn inside. To check the result, go back to the object, select these two joints. Okay, it's going inside. It will go inside like this. Okay. So, I just, what I did, I just changed it to minus one Z axis, everything going perfect, and change the knee orientation a little bit inside so that your knee lower leg will go inside, not outwards. Okay, that's perfect. Click here, right leg, select hierarchy, toggle off. And the final step select this one, hierarchy, toggle. Here, I'll leave it like this. If I apply, it will change it. So I'll change it to y axis because. The thing is that the finger joints I'm very much interested in the finger joints this are the lengthy joints the big joints which you can rotate in x-axis and y-axis no problem but when it comes to the fingers I want more clear z-axis so when I rotate this joint down like this it should be in z-axis so that's why I change to y-axis okay but or else just reset apply can you see here boom so if you want to test it select this joint it rotates in y axis here when I select these joints and rotate in y, z axis there's some big problem so I need to tweak these points inner side so that this thumb will end somewhere here so how to do it, you know, go to component mode, select this local axis, turn a little bit inside. I'll do the same thing a little bit. Okay. I'm not interested in the tip joint, tip joints. So select this joint. Okay. It's not going perfect. If you still want to work a little bit, you can just select this one a little bit. Okay. Now select this joint. Good. I like it. Now right click, 
hierarchy top of close it now select this joint this one p for parent this one the sp spine joint parent and skeleton mirror joint select the clavicle i'll just change it select the clavicle joint here change left to right because we got left joints we named this left we are changing the left to right when we duplicate it so if you select this joint this is a left clavicle and this right clavicle and its behavior okay now select this one we didn't change anything we just change the axis and this apply now if you select this joint and this joint and try to rotate in z axis can you see here both axes are rotating in the perfect axis right now get back your character show your character now your joints are perfectly placed with naming conventions as well as orientation hope you enjoy this lesson i'll get back to you in the next lesson where we'll be working on leg rigging leg eye case leg controls and then gradually get we get back to the spine as well as the hands bye